The Red Bull cliff diving event in Hamburg was extremely challenging for the photographers commissioned to cover it. Red Bull Alum spoke to one of them, Ray Dembski, to get the inside view. Crane shoot was a challenge made tougher by difficult weather conditions. We packed all remote camera gear into plastic in preparation for the heavy rain. Each photographer used two flashes to get the best light onto the divers. We also used remote cameras for further angles. This is the view from my remote camera mounted onto the container turned dive platform, which is later brought up with the water. We must talk over the shoot to get the best results. Dabo Orlando Duque explains to us the dive so we can choose best camera positions. The athletes preparing for a group dive. Timing and accuracy are absolutely critical. Stadi shooting handheld with the 7200 and a 300 2.8 on the tripod as a remote camera. You can see me here hanging from the container to get a shot. I often bring my own harness and ropes for positioning, climbing and helicopter shooting. Here's my shot from this position, hanging about 25 meters above the water. I shot this one hanging from the top of the crane, roughly 50 meters from the water. I had only one chance at this shot. Here's one of my remote camera shots. Just minutes later a weather front came through with heavy rain, thunder and lightning, so we had to cut short the shoot. We had challenging lighting conditions with bright overcast skies backlighting the divers as we shot into the dark spaces between the buildings. Here's Stadi checking camera positions before the event started. Here I'm setting up a remote camera. Using the laptop you see next to me, I can check if the angle is correct as you can see through the viewfinder. Here's Marcel checking his angle for a remote camera shot, using a wide angle zoom to make a full action sequence. Powerful battery powered flashes were used to light up the shady walls and diver. On the right, Marcel checks his overhead remote camera as he rigs it in position. Here's a rough view from that camera as it's being set up. And here's the final remote camera overhead shot. The big flash we saw earlier is putting light on the wall as well as backlighting the diver. Two small flashes in the window light the athlete from the top. This image I shot with a fisheye lens allows us to see the whole event area with an action sequence. Here's one picture with flash, the other without. You can see the difference. In the shot on the left, the flash brings out the diver and lets me hold some detail in the sky. Great athletes make for great photos. Orlando is lit here by three flashes to pop him from the background, in one of my favorite shots of the event. In the end, I got all the shots I was looking for, and I was really stoked on the results. I'm Ray Dembski. Thanks for watching.